A much more uniform and efficient form of irrigation is low volume irrigation, sometimes called drip, trickle, or micro irrigation. These systems are designed to deliver water directly to the root zone of a plant, not the canopy. Consequently, low volume irrigation systems use 60 to 70% less water than overhead systems. Low volume systems are more costly to install than overhead irrigation, but have much better application uniformity and efficiency. Other advantages include reduced runoff, less effects from wind, and employees can continue working while the low volume irrigation system is running. The disadvantages are the initial cost, keeping pipes and emitters from being clogged, and recognizing when emitters have been knocked out of containers. Large containers are usually watered with a low volume method, such as spray stakes and drip emitters. A good model nursery to illustrate the use of low volume irrigation systems is Riverview Flower Farms near Tampa, Florida. Our watering system has evolved over the years. When we first started our nursery, we had overhead irrigation and we switched that to overhead micro irrigation to use as low volume as possible, but we still weren't happy with how that worked. So. 15 years ago, we began experimenting with drip irrigation, similar to what's used in the vegetable fields, and we would string it along the top of the pots and allow the water to drip into each individual pot. We have since that time converted the entire 30 acres of production over to this system so that it is very efficient we have reduced our water usage 70% from what would be a typical overhead irrigation system. Our newest project is we are working with a capillary mat system that sub-irrigates the pots. And you sit the plants right down on top of this mat and is connected to water feed system that goes in and the plants are watered from the bottom. And in our trials so far, which has encompassed about one year, we have reduced the irrigation from the drip system about another 25 to 30 percent. So we are in the process of converting more acreage over to this cap mat system. A concern for those considering using low volume irrigation has always been the cost of installation and operation. A lot of people hesitate at the cost of putting in a drip system and you know, what we found is that the savings in fertilizer and water pays for that quickly. Other efficient methods of irrigation include ebb and flow and watering boom systems, both of which have high initial costs for installation. Watering boom systems apply overhead sprays but have the ability to be programmed to water as needed or water certain sections of a container area and not other areas, thus improving irrigation application efficiency. Ebb and flow is a system in which water is pumped in and out of a tray that holds containers. Plants are watered by sub-irrigation. Ebb and flow water can be reused, conserving water and nutrients. Here at James Greenhouses, we use an ebb and flow irrigation system, and this is the heart of it. Basically, our well water is pumped into storage tanks. From the storage tanks, once a bench is turned on, the pumps are activated and the water is pulled from the storage tank into a mixing tank where fertilizer is added according to a preset EC level. From here, the water and fertilizer is mixed and it heads out to the bench. The fertigated water is transferred to each individual bench from the mixing tanks and each bench runs for approximately six minutes and it's approximately 120 gallons total and it's about a 12 minute soak time per bench. We have eight zones in the house and we can run two benches at a time um, without causing any problems or sucking too much water out of the mixing tanks. So all the water contains all the fertilizer and is at the correct pH NEC at the time that it reaches the bench. Once the benches are finished watering and the water begins to drain, we collect it all in a sump pump and it is all returned back to our storage tank 
where it is then ready to be used again for the next irrigation cycle. We use ebb and flood irrigation in our largest growing range and that single addition alone of technology reduces our labor costs by about 66% in that area. We have one person managing a, a million to one and a half million plants. The older, less efficient areas that we operate, we would employ probably three people to do the same amount of work. It's a big, big difference. Plus, we have the added benefit of not experiencing all the incremental small losses that we, we have in less efficient irrigation environments where edges dry out too often and corners die and things like that. Ebb and flood gives us completely uniform irrigation and, and reduces our overall shrink. To find additional information on efficient irrigation systems, please refer to this document and others which are available on the project website.